I think it's time that we finally unlock Bioluminescent. And we're actually really close to getting it done. I only have eight more weapons left to do. And I saved the best for last. Now it's been tough, but I've held off on using some of my favorite weapons in zombies. That way we can complete this mastery camo while using some of the better weapons in the game. And of course I have the crossbow right here. And you already know we're going to come in here with the explosive tips on it just to have a little extra fun. And I also brought in the P90. This is a weapon I have not used in a while, but it's a weapon that has a very unique pack-a-punch ability where it gets a ton of added ammo to the magazine once it's pack-a-punch. So let's go ahead and do that with both of our weapons here. Let's get our crossbow packed and our P90. So now we have 400 rounds in the mag. And just to make our crossbow a bit better, let's go ahead and throw dead wire detonators on this as well. And for both of these weapons, the only challenge I have left to do is to get 10 special or elite eliminations with both of these weapons. And I think I got a good idea on how we're going to do that. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with the triangles in tier three, but people seem to forget about the triangles over in tier two that they added in to get the Easter egg steps done to unlock the newest Aether Rift. And they're pretty good for spawning in some elites. So let's see if we can find all of these little signal sigils that we got to shoot. I'm starting to panic here. I'm, I'm choking on this gas. My operator do not smoke tough, but I'll deal with it because we're going to get a little extra elites here with the mimic spawning in. Where is our last sigil? Oh, here it is. And let's just go ahead and clear out these spores really quick. That should just about do it. And now we should be able to line this up. There we go. And we should get some mangler spawning in here. We should get this camo unlocked in no time. This is like the best method now for getting elites done. You can still go ahead and do it at an exfil, but especially early into the game, the spawn rates are very, very slow. And you have to wait for the cooldown on the exfil. But doing this, we get a good amount of elites right off rip. And we should have it done right about here. There's the rank up. And the P90 is done. Your turn, crossbow. And there are so many manglers here. This is just free. Oh, wait, did we just finish this? We did. Ooh, nice little reward for our troubles. And I still hear them walking around. There's one. See you around, pal. Oh, there's actually more. You guys are all spawning on the outside. Is there more stragglers? I'm hearing them. There is. What's up, dude? And even more up the hill. And I think we've depleted their species, but at a good cost. We got one weapon done and six done for our crossbow. So that's 16 elites just for one event. And we're not even 10 minutes into this game yet. And I already know I'm going to at least get one comment of someone saying, you don't got this unlocked yet? Well, I got something for you. And since we got that other stuff done so fast, let's spice it up a bit and try to take out a bounty. As if we need to try very hard, you're going to go down super easily. And it's another mangler. It's perfect. They've already basically gone extinct. Might as well take out the head honchos. And let's go ahead and get the crossbow done the old-fashioned way with a nice little X-fill. If only we could get another mangler to spawn. The, the camo curse don't want us to get this mastery camo. The helicopter's already about to leave and we've only got one mangler. I can also take out this attack helicopter. Will this count? Is this an elite enemy? Maybe. It's definitely dead, but I don't think it counted. There's our last mangler. Night, night, buddy. I appreciate you helping me get this camo. Let's go, dude. Two down, six to go. And the next two weapons I picked out might not be the best, but they're a lot of fun. I got the Lockwood Super Shotgun here that has the dual shot trigger, which shoots both of its rounds at the same time. And I can't bring this in without bringing in its friend with the Doom Chainsaw. I love how it has all the old like framey animations to really feel like you're actually playing Doom with these. To kick this off, let's get the, the first elite kill with our Lockwood 300 Super Shotgun. Because with Maggle holding, it's actually pretty nice not having to reload every two seconds. It actually makes it a little bit busted. Let's see how quick we can take out this Disciple. Come here, buddy. There ain't no running from this. Oh, this actually does massive damage. I completely forgot about this gun. It's kind of a sleeper. And that Disciple just reminded me. We got a Stormcaller right here that's just begging to be taken out. And we can get a nice little uh, camo progress from doing so. Oh, unless we're smitten by the, the lightning that comes down from him. Hold on. You're not getting away with that. This is actually doing pretty well against him. The damage per shot ain't that great, but the amount of times we can shoot him with this gun, gonna take him out pretty quick. He's already almost dead. See you later, Stormcaller. Until next time. And if we're gonna take out the Stormcaller, we might as well try this out against Abomination. Come here, buddy. You can help us get some camos too, can't you? We already got a face broke on him very fast. Let's keep it going, shall we? Oh, Disciple. Perfect. Keep all the elites coming. We need all of them. Oh, we also need some ammo. Shit. And maybe a paramedic. Actually, can I get him with this while I'm on the ground? 
No way you can actually use the chainsaw on the ground. Is it even doing any damage to him? It's not even showing me the abomination's health bar. This is a secret they want to keep. All right. I'll use my self revive, I guess. And give me some of this ammo. Oh. I'm running into a bit of ammo issues with this gun. Does some pretty good damage, but don't hang on to a whole lot of ammo. And we might have did a good amount of damage to him with the chainsaw on the ground. Is that meta? Is that the new wave? Because we only have one face broken and he's already almost dead. Let's see if we can get him with these last eight shots. There's another face gone. And there goes the rest of our ammo. We got a little bit right here, though. This should be enough to take him out. I just need you to open up for me. There it is. Night, night, buddy. Wait. Come on. There we go. And all these mimics want to join in on the fun. Now, where did the disciple guy go? Did he leave? Oh, there he is. What's up, buddy? Night, night. And while we're here in tier three, let's try it against an HVT. What are we going up against? Oh, another abomination. Perfect. What's up, pal? I don't think you're ready for all this. Let's get another face broken off you. Very easy. Don't matter if you're an HVT or just a normal abomination. You're still going to go down the same way. Assuming I'm going to have enough ammo to do it. Maybe we should take out some of these zombies preemptively. We should be good on ammo now. At least four now. Yeah, shoot another laser. Help me out here. Let's get another face of yours gone. There we go. That's two faces down. And just shoot another laser and I'll be on my way. It's that easy, buddy. That works too. You can go ahead and yell all you want. Ain't nobody come to help you. And that's what we're looking for. Will these 26 shots help us out here? It's like the perfect number. Oh, he stopped shooting. He tried to bait us. There we go. Is this going to be enough? Ooh, not looking like it. Can I melee him to death with it? Can we get our final kill with this weapon? Getting melees? Ooh, not looking like it. Oh, come on. We're only a few bullets short. Any zombies want to come give me some ammo, please? Oh, here we go. Let's use our chainsaw. Please drop some ammo. There we go. And here's the laser. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we shot him into the sky. Let's go. And is that our camo? Is that all 10? It looks like it. Contract complete is hiding it, but we got it. Now it's the chainsaw's turn. And the mimic wants to be our first victim. Come here. Night, night. Mangler, what are you doing on this roof, man? You know you're not supposed to be up here. Why don't you take a seat? We're like Jack the Ripper in tier three here. I'm wandering around looking for any elites I can find to go with my chainsaw. And they're definitely hitting me back. Actually, you know what? Let's use what we discovered earlier and try to get some of these kills while on the ground. I wonder if this will count. Come here. Ooh, looks like we still do the same amount of damage while on the ground too. But did it count? I think I was at like maybe three. Oh, now we're at five. That's so sick. Oh, and more disciples want the smoke? Sure, go ahead. I'm all for it. I just want all you zombies to leave me alone because this cannot handle a horde. But it might be able to handle an abomination, especially if we start shooting some lasers. Can we actually hit them in the mouth with it? Give him a little dental work? Don't think so. Always a, a bit tricky trying to get these guys in the mouth. But do we get decent damage on them? Eh, that's not bad. I've seen worse from more recent aftermarket parts. Oh, and two mimics? Perfect. That's just the right amount. Come here. Sit. And I think we're only one elite away from getting our camo. Let's try to get it through this abomination. Let's see if we can take them out. I'm just spamming the chainsaw here. Throw a decoy. There we go. Come on. We got him to half health. You got to go down eventually. I was just hoping another elite don't show up and try to steal its thunder like this. Oh, like this disciples trying to do. Actually, why do I keep forgetting about this? This is the way. And we can watch his health go down a little bit from right here. <laughs> it's really only going down such a small amount, but we can get these hits in for free. It's just a lot of clicking. This is actually such a great way to get this camo. I'm so down for this. Can we kill him before we bleed out? Please. Don't start chasing somebody else. Don't start chasing somebody else. There we go. Oh, wait, a healing aura went off. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. Let's go. That should be our lead. There's a rank up. And there's our camo. Perfect. Like I thought he was helping out with that, that healing aura. And he did a little bit, but he didn't see the vision. He didn't see the strat. Normally for a mastery camo grind, people either try to get these out of the way as soon as possible or just completely avoid them by doing weapons that get added into the game later on. But I am not most people because for our last four weapons to unlock Bioluminescent, I'm gonna be getting the MW2 launchers done. And we're starting this game off with the Pila and the Strela P. That way we can save the Joker and the RPG for last. But just because I'm using 
using these doesn't mean I'm going to suffer. I'm getting them to pack three in legendary and I'm going to be using dead wire detonators, maggo holding, and some bandoliers. That way I have enough decoys to get all the zombies where I want them. Now this could either end up being extremely efficient or very, very dangerous and dumb, but I want to try to do the mimic triangle here in tier two. I just always have a very tough time trying to line this triangle up. There we go. Let's see if we can get this done. Oh, it looks like this one shots mimics. We're actually, we're, it looks like we're good. We're in the clear. This is going to be done in seconds. Let's hope there's enough mimics to go around for both these launchers. I feel like we're already over halfway done with this one. Should be seeing the camo pop up any second now. Go for it. Let's try not to overdo it too. I think that should be 10, right? Maybe one more. How about now? Okay, let's uh, do another one. Are these counting? They are. And they're already all gone. Okay, that went way too fast. How do I only get five out of that? Oh no, I got eight. Huh? Why is it? Why is the Strella and the Peel accounting for the same one? You know what? Let's not question it. Let's just take our rewards and try to find some more elites. Oh, there's one. It found us. Let's see. So we're at five and eight. We'll kill this one. And now we're at... Five and eight still. Okay. And maybe it caught it caught on to us catching on. Weird. Let's see if we can figure out what's counting and what's not. Is it like only splash damage kills working or do I have to get direct impacts? Because I felt like I was getting a few direct impacts there. Let's take this bad boy out. And now what are we at? Six and eight still. Okay. Weird. Now I'm just more confused. But I'm not satisfied with tier two elites. We got to try these out against some tier three HVTs. Sorry we got to do this to you, Mangler, but it ain't nothing personal, kid. Ooh, this is actually not doing a whole lot. Maybe I'm uh, getting a little too out of my element here, especially since we're getting low on ammo. But good thing these zombies are eating up all the splash damage. And we can probably just take out the disciple as well. Get a little two for one going. Ain't that right, disciple? I just need you to stay still because it's a little hard to hit you. There we go. Your turn, Mangler. Oh, and an abomination wants to join the party. Why not? Let's get everybody in here. Or maybe we shouldn't because this is really not doing anything. We barely got any health taken off of him. His armor is blocking all of this. A hot take, but I feel like armor should not block explosives. Kind of a crazy concept, I know. But it's uh, kind of BS. Oh, wait, there goes some armor on him. Come on. Just kick the bucket already. And the Abomination really didn't want any. He took off. He must have despawned once he saw this. He didn't want to deal with any of it. Oh, and no, we're one rocket short. All right, go down. Woo. Where are we sitting at now? Seven and nine. Let's go. I know Jeff Fisher would be proud of that. Maybe we can just get a normal mangler down. Oh, no. We're doing too much damage. They're, they're, they're trying to take us out of this game. The camo curse is giving us a, a nice latency variation or whatever the hell you call it. It's trying to lag us out of the server. They don't want to see us winning. That's too damn bad. I guess every mangler in town's heard about us and they want a piece. Sorry, buddy. You ain't as durable as your HVT counterpart. It's time for you to go. Right about now. Night, night. But we're still only seven and nine. How did that happen? Some of these kills just aren't counting. You know what? Let's do the one thing these are probably good for and try to take out a stronghold. Maybe we can get uh, some mimics to spawn. Those would be nice and easy kills. We just gotta spam our rockets here. Mimic, why don't you uh, take a seat, pal? Sit this one out. There we go. Oh, and a disciple spawning in here. Oh, it's not looking good for us. Hold on. We can shoot our way out of this. Let's keep it going. There's a rank up. We must have gotten one of these done. There we go. Well, let's see what our reward is for this. See if we can get anything good out of it. Looking like no. All we got was like one cashmere. But we got to give this a real try against an abomination. I don't care if he's already pre-damaged or what. You're getting the rockets. Disciple, you can go down too. That'll actually put us at nine elites out of the 10 that we need, I think, right? Yep, there's nine. Let's make this abomination number 10. Yeah, shoot that laser. Eat that. And there we go. Does that count? Are we getting it? You can have all those points. I don't even care. I don't think it counted. Whatever. I don't even, I don't even want that kill anyways. Let's finish this camo off with a bounty. And what are we going against? Oh, an abomination. Perfect. All for us. And this is probably the best spot we could have gotten them at because we have an ammo cache right over here. 
because I don't think the 12 rockets that we have max are going to be enough to take them out, unfortunately. And the zombies don't seem very generous with our ammo drops today. Like, look how little damage we're doing to them. Let's grab some ammo. Hopefully this isn't too far out of his zone. I don't want him healing because I'll just add a half hour to this fight. Wait, did we break a face on him? We did. I didn't even know it was possible to do with the launcher. Come on. We got to get some decent damage here. No. Stop. No. Making us work for this one. Oh, shit. He's going to knock us again. Unless we can get some good damage on him. Mm. How many self revives do we have? It's getting bleak out here. Oh, we got none. Oh, did we take out another face? Let's go. One more. And he's constantly shooting lasers, but we got nothing to fire back at him. I'm scared to run to the ammo cache. You know, we're going to do it. We have to. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Go around the corner. Go around the edge. Woo! Barely made it through. This is the dumbest way I've gotten a camo done. But I wouldn't have it any other way. We have him actually burnt. This abomination is well done. Look how much explosive like splatter is all over the top of his head. Come on, I know you're tired of this. Just go down. This dude might die of old age before he dies to our launcher. We might be able to kill him in the next few rockets. Please. Just die. Well, we got him. Let's go. Show me my camo, please. Oh, other abomination. I need you to go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. There's our camo. Perfect. Is there a self-revive in here? There is not. We need, to, we need to leave immediately. And now our final two weapons, the RPG in the Joker. I wouldn't want to finish this with any other weapons. Now there's a bit of a caveat here. For every other weapon in this game, you need to get 10 special or elite eliminations to get your Arachnia camo. But for the Joker, they actually lowered it and you only need one. And I want that one kill to be against the Stormcaller. So we have to go ahead and get our RPG done really quick. And then we're going to make our way over there and see if we can take them out without meleeing. Because meleeing with any launcher would be like taking the easy way out. I want to earn these kills. I think the fastest way we can get this done is if we set up this triangle again so let's start it up and bring on the manglers it's gonna be lights out for all of you and this should be it if it's not that one then this one should be it right okay maybe not surely this one's it right go ahead show me my camo please all right whatever this one's our camo i, I just gotta keep saying it till it happens it's gotta be one of these guys for sure we finished the thing. Oh, and there's our camo. Let's go. And now let's see if our Stormcaller buddy's still over here, please. Oh, looks like he is. Let's see if we can take him out. And if we can do it, this will be our final elite kill that we need to get Bioluminescent. We're getting a good amount of zombie kills. Did we actually get any damage on him, though? Not really. Okay. All right, here's the plan. We're going to stay back here so that he doesn't move around too much. Maybe he'll just idle in one spot and then we can just hit him with a nice barrage. It's not letting me shoot multiple rockets at a time, even though I have Maggle holding on. But let me just spam what I got and then we'll go back in there and try to pick up any ammo on the ground. Oh, there we go. There's a nice barrage, nice cluster strike for him. Shot every rocket I had, and I don't even think he's in that spot anymore. I'm not even getting a hit marker. Let's try this. Maybe if I throw a monkey bomb, he'll go over to where all of his zombies are at, and then we can get him with a, a nice barrage again. Oh, he, he fell into our trap perfectly. Hit him. Get him. Let's go. And that's still not a whole lot of damage. We're going to be here for a bit. No, what are you doing? Stop leaving the circle. You're going to heal out here. Oh, you dick. Okay, well, we got a new problem then. If we are not getting any progress shooting rockets at this guy, I might actually have to melee him with it. But that's still not as cheap as just meleeing a normal elite, I think. I I'm, bending the uh, I'm bending the rules. I'm moving the goalposts. Oh, no. No, don't you come in here and take out the Stormcaller. You leave. This isn't for you. Oh, no. We don't need a helpful Harry here. I guess as long as I get the final shot, it don't matter that much. I just want him dead by my hands. Maybe he sucks enough to where he's not actually going to be able to take him out. Oh, no. There's a whole nother player, too. There's three guys here. It's a 3v1. Come on. Maybe they can hold him in one spot. Let's use this to our advantage. No, he's dead. Did we get the camo for it, though? Did we get the, did, did we get the, the credit? I don't think so. Come on. So lame. I sat here for so long. We're just going to have to take out a different Stormcaller. Now, unfortunately, since we had to leave that last game, I am fresh out of Maga Holdings. But 
it wasn't really working that great anyways. It, it wouldn't let me lock on to specific points a lot of the time, so not a whole lot changing. But for the rare moments that it did work, it's gonna suck to not have it. But it's still gonna take forever to take them out. There we go. Nice little two shot. Just need about a uh, hundred more rockets and then he'll be dead. Come on. He's in the perfect spot. Ooh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're not getting there fast, but we're still getting there. Oh, and now we're getting more helpful Harry's. Don't these guys see what I'm trying to do here? They can't keep doing this to me. The camo curse is finding new and creative ways just to piss me off for challenges that I'm setting for myself. Wait, did they give up? No, they didn't. They're just outside of the storm. They're not strong enough for this. What's his health looking like? Oh, it's gone up. Oh no. And now I'm down in the storm. I think the storm caller chased them out. Oh, he respawned. This is ridiculous. Oh, what a lad. You know what? I'm sick of this. I'm calling it a jug. I'm going to get him down to one hit and then maybe get it done with the Joker. It's going to really suck though if I get knocked again because I am, uh, I don't want to ask for help. I can't even see where he's at. There he is. I can't see anything actually. Why is it like this? Okay, we, we started the process. It really did not do anything but we got him distracted now. He knows we mean business. Oh, did his mask just get broken? This could be our chance. Probably not, but it might be, especially with these guys going in with insta-kill. Come on, something's gotta give. This actually might be impossible to do. I cannot get this for, for anything. Now they got a sentry gun going and we might have a chance at this. This health slowly going down, but of course there's no ammo to be found anywhere. This is awesome. This guy's in it for the long haul with me. For better or worse. I've been here the entire game and there's only about 11 minutes left. And we don't even have like a, a decent amount of damage done on him. This is so stupid. We only have eight minutes left to take him out. Once the storm starts moving, he's just going to despawn. Come on. How much health are you at? Ugh. Every time I look at him, it's like he has more. <gasps> An insta kill. Finally. Let's do this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Why are you hiding? Please. Let's actually land something. I just saw him go into the ground. You are not allowed to just go into the ground like that. Um, this entire insta kill has been wasted. I don't even think it's, there's a chance for me to land a rocket here. Whatever, dude. Take a shock stick. Take two of them. Actually, I think that's doing pretty good against him. Let's see if our Joker can finally finish him off. Please stay right there. No! Oh, it still hit him though, a little bit, slightly. Oh, we have him to half health. You know what, whatever. This is the last chance we get at this. The storm's already almost here. I'm throwing everything I got at him. Throw a quick decoy too, hit our Aether Shroud. Can we please take him out? I am not too close. I am so far away. Come on. I don't even think it did anything to him. Oh, he's actually kind of low on health. We only have a minute 30. Ain't no ammo. Please, zombies. Come here. Come here. Come here. Drop some. Come on. Come on. Now's the time. We got to clutch up. Okay. He's spawning in zombies. I'm going to hit him with a quick nade. Hit a little reload. Let's throw a decoy. Try to keep him in the same spot. We are way too close. Come on. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. He's glitched out in a spot. Please. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh, it might be over. Let's use the last rockets we got if we can. And a last nade. Oh, it's not looking like we can get it done. See a storm caller. Oh wait, he's actually still here. But he might have fully healed. Oh, and I still don't have a self revive. Let me see if I can somehow grab a, a, at least a tier two bounty and take that out. So I gave it a valiant effort. I fought that storm caller for 45 minutes straight and it did not budge. The game don't want me to have it. So we just have to do this. Be a disciple, please. Oh, it is. We can get some sort of redemption here. Oh, he's indoors. Come on, game. This is a little targeted. We ended up leading him outside. Let's hit him with some nades just to get him warmed up. Can I even shoot it here? No, we are way too close. This is dumb. This is so stupid. And the storm's almost here. Let's have him stop healing, please. Stay away. 
Stay right there. Let these hit you. And now he's in the storm again. Oh, my Lanta. Cancel this one. We're going to have to go for a further one. Let's try to get as much distance between us and the storm as possible. And this looks like it's going to be it. All right. What's this one going to be? A mangler. Maybe a little bit more our speed. Can we spot him? No way he's under a bridge. This is actually fucked up, game. You don't need to be doing me like this. Actually, we might be able to shoot it from here. And he's just on the other side of the bridge. Let's see if we can get anything with it. Are we hitting him? I think we might have. Let's keep throwing our decoys, though. Oh, don't go under the bridge, please. Do me a favor. Let's Aether Shroud. Keep the zombies away for a second. And let's spam these. He's not going to move nearly as fast as Disciple would. So that's bound to hit him. There we go! We took him out! Please show me my camos! Oh, it's popping up behind the contract. Go away, go away. Where's Bioluminescent? It's not going to show up. Oh, wait, there's the rank up. Show me. Let's go, dude. Finally. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't the storm caller like we wanted to, but we finally got it. it. It's over. It's done. I think I shot maybe 300 rockets at that one storm caller and it wasn't even near dead. I'm a little bummed out that we couldn't get our final kill against the storm caller, but... I think we still did some pretty nice stuff with the weapons that we had left. And they literally nerfed this camo challenge so I wouldn't spend this much time doing it and I still found a way to just make it as difficult on myself as possible. Whatever, I still had fun doing it. And now I, I have this weight off my shoulders with Bioluminescent finally complete. Now we can take a look at the camo that took us so long to get and honestly it's a little underwhelming. It's part of the reason why I put off getting it for so long because it's like such a cool idea for a camo, but it don't look all that great. I, I really do like the, the primary part of the camo, like the primary color of it. But the secondary color where it's like kind of like the bottom of a pool, like the little wave pattern on it. It's, it's, I, I don't know. It just don't fit. And here it is on the Joker. So we can get a nice big look at it. It's, it's growing on me a little bit, maybe because all the blood, sweat and tears I just put in trying to get it. But that secondary color really does throw it off for me. But at least it glows in the dark. It's got that going for it. And even though we have bioluminescent, there's still a lot of camos in this game that I don't have yet. But that's a problem for another day.